Look, Mari, there they go again. Just look at them go. Yes, Tektite. You can't keep a good species down, you know. I remember when... One moment, please. Allow me. Certainly, my friend. At this point, there's a very important thing to mention, and it's critical that you understand it. Remember that we are highly trained cartoon professionals. Kids, please don't try this on your home planet. Like those cats were really hip to come all the way here, but they always split too soon. It just wasn't their scene for long here on the moon. They'll keep exploring, live away from the Earth. Dig? If not here, then somewhere. Okay, live away from the Earth? No, I didn't mean dig that way. Oh, okay. They'll someday live away from the Earth? Yeah, right. This is senseless. Oh, contraire, Tektite. Maybe an asteroid? Mars, the possibilities are endless. I just know it. Someday they will live away from the Earth. I think that's regolithculus, for whatever that's worth. Sure, this may be home to us, but it's still a vacuum. And Mari, I am telling you that one thing is perfectly clear. You know how demanding those Earthlings are. They have to have air, and water, and shelter, and food, and the list goes on and on. If they don't get those things, they're out of here. Live away from the Earth? To me, it seems they are just not, repeat, not perfect machines. It can't be. Whoa. Oh. <clears throat> Would you give me my, um, a hand? Certainly. <clears throat> I also know that the Earthlings are pretty clever when they set their minds to things and use their imagination. They've learned a lot from coming here, from Skylab and the International Space Station. Unless they've changed, they're bound and determined to explore. They take these things One small step. at a time. Hmm, seems like I've heard that somewhere before. So, maybe the Earthlings are making a step towards something even bigger, where they can stay. To find out, there's only one sure way. Put fast forward to use? <gasps> Let's vamoose! Look, Tektite! Can't you see? That's just the way I know it can be. Awesome! But the air, and the water, and the other challenges unforeseen. They will have to be very careful to recycle what they use up. They will call it a closed-loop system. It will be the ultimate in living green. Green? What the heck? Oh, that's Earthling for living gray, as we would say. Check. The way I see it, it's all interconnected. No big whoop there. That's to be expected. Item number one has to be air. But water is also way up there. Food, shelter, and power, as needs go, they also tower. So just bring all they'll ever need from over there? Now we both know that's an impossible plan. Instead, they'll use and reuse all that they can. Oxygen, O2, is what they need when they breathe air inside. But they turn what they use into CO2. Or carbon dioxide. Before you know it, there's quite a hitch. The air is O2 low and CO2 rich. They'll bring plants for more than brightening their day. Plants use those two gases in exactly the opposite way. But plants won't be enough to meet the demand. So they'll use special machines. Machines, I understand. Using physics and chemistry, they'll reduce and remove excessive CO2, keeping the cabin air on the move. Another device will help balance the equation. How so? Oxygen generation! Other systems will remove contaminants, even if only a trace, and control temperature and humidity for a comfy living place. Oh, and the moisture they pull from the air will be reused too, in a system that will recycle water and make it like new. Earthlings must drink water, but not long after they're done. They have to, um, well, well, you know, go number one. The system turns even that into drinking water they trust. 
drinking water? How come they don't rust? Of course, they use water for other things, too. Washing, cleaning, and cooking, to name a few. All will be recycled time and again. Isn't this exciting, my friend? Air and water are biggies, but other challenges must be overcome. Oh, don't worry about that. They've already begun. Shelter, power, even detecting and fighting fires. Using the soil, waste management, washers and dryers. Now, put all that together. And can't you see why I say they will even be able to live away from the Earth someday? See what I'm getting at? Well, I suppose there's always that. No, wait. I shouldn't have doubted. Now I believe it from the very bottom of my gear. Maybe someday they'll even stop back by here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Tell me one thing. Why did we start transmitting in rhyme? Oh, it seemed the thing to do at the time. Earthlings, to find out more, visit this site. For now, we're signing off. This is Mari. And Tektite.